Circuit stickers is the chosen technological toy in this lesson, which allows the children to express their ideas and create art using their imagination and creative thinking. While the key learning area is aesthetics and creative expression, the integrated learning area is social-emotional development. This lesson was prepared for kindergarten two children aged five to six years old. Prior to this lesson, the children had a discussion relating to their current theme that is nature. They communicated these ideas and thoughts on the three R's, reduce, reuse, and recycle. The observable praise dispositions are engagement, and inventiveness. For this particular lesson, the K2 children need to be well acquainted with the techniques to ignite the LED lights. To do so, the children must be given ample time and opportunities to explore with the electrical structure, whereupon they are able to problem solve when positioning the LEDs on their posters independently. Given the above mentioned prerequisites, Awareness and exploration are the learning cycle phases involved in this poster-making activity. As the children may face plenty of trial and errors and complications while creating their electrifying poster, they will have to solve them by conveying and demonstrating possible solutions. Therefore, the targeted process skills are communicating and experimenting. This lesson aims to enable the children to number 1. Incorporate circuit stickers on their posters number 2. Create posters based on their imagination number 3. Work collaboratively in a team At the outset of the lesson, the teacher will review the previous lesson which involved the three R's. Next, the children will be tasked to draft a relevant message for their posters in a group. The messages will be jotted down on a piece of paper by the teacher, which will be given to them during the main activity. At this juncture, the teacher will begin to demonstrate the activity that the children will be doing shortly after in the following manner. Number 1. Fold the paper to their preference, landscape or portrait. Number 2. Draw and write the message that is relevant to the three R's on paper. Number 3. Once the illustrations and texts are complete, the children will discuss and plan on the suitable positions to paste their LED lights. Number four, they will use a red marker to mark their intended arrangement on the paper. Number five, subsequently, use a pen to poke holes on the paper for the LED lights. Teachers may have to assist the children for this step. Number six, flip the page and draw a simple circuit diagram using the following representations. A circle for the battery, a triangle for the LED light, a line for the copper tape. Number seven. Before releasing the children to work in their small groups, the teacher will remind them on the rules when working on their circuits. Number one. Positive and negative signs of the batteries should not be touching one another. Number two. There are two shiny parts on the LED lights. Each shiny part should be pasted on top of the copper tape. Number three, LED lights should face the same direction when pasted on top of the copper tape. Number four, always turn off or remove the battery when you are not using the circuit. Prior to the main activity, the teacher will have to ensure that the following materials are placed on the tables where the children will be working at as a team, such as the batteries, LED lights, copper tapes, A3 sized drawing block paper, markers and pencils, scissors, glue, and decorative materials. The children will be replicating the above mentioned demonstration at this point as a group. The teacher will facilitate the activity by asking the following thought-provoking questions. Based on your written message, what do you think you should draw? Where do you think the LED lights should be placed? Will it be along the edges of the poster or the center of the poster? Do you think the length of the copper tape provided is long enough? Why or why not? 
do you need more? How do we find out if the LED lights are aligned correctly? Have you tested them? Once the LED lights are working, the children are encouraged to decorate their posters using art and craft materials, aside from the stationaries. The following questions can be used to facilitate this section of the activity. Do you need other materials apart from the stationaries? What other materials can we use to make this poster more special? The children will be invited to present their posters to the whole class as a team. Allow the children to select the poster that they would like to display. The following questions can be used to facilitate the sharing session. What is the poster about? What did you use to create your poster? How did you ensure your LED lights were working? How do you feel working in a group? Based on this lesson, children may encounter the following challenges when working with circuit stickers. Frustration to paste the copper tapes as close to the line drawn as possible. Copper tapes may be attached outside or along the outline of the drawn diagram. Ensuring that the LED lights are aligned. Ensuring sufficient space between the copper tape and battery. Based on my observation of the children, they learn more on lines. They learn the new term on parallel lines because they need to make the circuits to be parallel to one another in order for the LED lights to light up. So um, they learn to use shapes that have sharp edges in order to form the parallel lines because they know that it will be harder to manage if they were to use curved lines. There are a few strategies that I use such as demonstration, step-by-step -step, uh, instruction just like the one I use in normal lessons. So for demonstration, right, I would first introduce the circuit stickers, the different parts of it then I would demonstrate to them how to use it after which we will do together step-by-step step, when they are done uh, they are okay with it then we will, I will let them try on their own. So for children that have difficulty in handling circuit stickers, I would go to them individually to scaffold the lesson. And for children, if I were to do in a big group or small groups teaching, I would just mix those that are the better ones and the ones with, uh, that find it hard to manage so that they can each teach one another. The challenges that I face is usually on the children who are more quiet and shy to share and discuss with the more active children. They tend to go along with the ones that are active so their ideas are not being shared and expressed in using circuit stickers. Based on my observation, perseverance is the social emotional development that I see a lot. They persevere through the whole lesson, trying to get the LED lights to light up. Um, they will share and discuss ideas to troubleshoot the issues that they have. And another thing is that they work cooperatively through the discussion and, and the sharing of ideas. They also have this role, each, each of them will have a role in the group, which is not discussed but automatically they know if my friend is doing this, I have to do the other in order to help them with the circuit sticker setting up. The overall experience that is positive, though at first I do struggle with the children a bit because my background on circuit stickers and the children is more on trial and error but as the days goes on, we did a lot of activities and facilitation on it. We, we find joy in doing it and it's actually overall is fine and it's actually also a good exposure to children on electricity they learn that ice cream sticks and those um, 
non-conductor electricity uh, items cannot conduct electricity so they learned that like paper clips and all that could be very dangerous when they were to hold anything that has electric going through The personal experience that I had is that I learned a lot of new strategies that I could use in my class. Uh, it teaches me that there are other ways that I could conduct. If I were to conduct it on my own, I'm not sure whether it's the right way or not. So if I, by watching other teachers conducting it, it gives me ideas and there are a lot of areas that I know that I need to improve on. Where it makes me think, why didn't I think out of the box? Yeah. And that uh, if there are strategies that I feel like I could implement in my own class, I would try and see whether it's workable. If not, I would try to improvise on it. <laughs>